you brought up a great point in the beginning. And I think this is something that's commonly kind of misconstrued too, is that getting down to almost zero cholesterol is optimal. Like, no, we need that stuff to make certain hormones. Like you mentioned, all the, the sex hormones and things of that nature. Obviously, it plays a role in uh, cell membrane uh, stability. But so if we had zero cholesterol, then we have none of that. And I think that's kind of where I think some of the confusion starts sometimes. Depends where you mean zero cholesterol. If we had zero cholesterol in our body anywhere, we'd be dead. It's an essential component of our cells, which is why our body bothers to make it. And cells throughout our body may bother to make it. So that's pretty clear. The second level is the level of cholesterol in our bloodstream. How much do we need there? Because that's a different question. Because as, as we said in the beginning, cells throughout our body are producing their own cholesterol internally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not entirely clear how much we need in the bloodstream. But some studies suggest that we need a pretty darn low level. There are some people who carry natural mutations who have abnormally low levels of LDL cholesterol. I mean, we're talking lower than 20 milligrams per deciliter, just to give you an idea. Wow. Yeah, the population, I don't know if, you, if your audience has an idea of the ranges, but the a population in the United States might have between 90 and 150. 100 to 130 is the cutoff. Above 130, it's usually considered high LDL cholesterol. And this is for milligrams per deciliter. In other countries, sometimes they use a different unit, but there's a, you know, you can convert. Bottom line is that even for someone like a, like a person on a strict vegan diet, is usually going to be around 50 to 70-ish ballpark. So these people carrying these mutations, in some cases extreme, like 15, 20, uh, 25 milligrams per deciliter is extremely low and an unusual level. And the point is, uh, no clinical issues of any kind have been uh, reported with these people. Interesting. So having these higher levels of, of uh, serum cholesterol doesn't appear to be necessary. And that's probably because uh, of this peripheral production that all the cells are making their own. Now, cells that make it, that need more cholesterol, like glands that produce these hormones, they might need a little bit more, but even at that level, no, no issues were reported with people with these uh, crazy low levels. And then the third level would be dietary cholesterol, right? which is a different question from the, from the other two. Hmm. And there, it's quite clear that we don't need it. We can have some cholesterol in our diet or not. It's basically a choice. It's clearly not essential. It's not an essential nutrient, exactly because our body produces all we need for. 